and you can sing. You can sing, and you're cute, and the girls will love that. But um, I've also heard your songs, and your songs are not what people really want to hear right now. So what I can do for you is that I can get you to sing songs that people really want to hear. I can get you a producer, a songwriter, the A1 team to make it happen. But I want this done as soon as possible. And you know, I didn't like hearing that, but we've all heard the stories. We've seen the behind the music and, and the before they were stars things and, and how a lot of stars, they started off having to, you know, compromise a bit and comply with what the label wanted so, so that eventually they could do what they wanted to do. And I was like, maybe this is it for me. Maybe this will be the same kind of thing. Step in the club, what's that I see? Bounce here for booty swinging left and right in front of me. How do you measure all of that pleasure? I got the answer, gotta weigh it by the ounce. Yeah, yeah! Stop, stop. Eric. Eric. Yeah. How do you how do you think we measure ass? What what do you think? Me what what yeah? What unit of measurement do you believe in? <laughs> I, I, I guess you you're wrong. The ounce. Do you understand the word? Do you know what you're singing? What are you singing about? Booty. Mm -hmm. Yes. I need to hear that. You, you're not projecting. Mm -hmm. You're not focusing. I, mean, I thought my technique was... It's not good. Your technique sucks. For lack of a better word. Am I right? Yeah. You're right. It sucks. Okay. I'm... Booty bounce. Booty, booty, booty by the outs. Wow. Bounce, bounce, yeah. Give me more. What is this? <laughs> it's water. Water? Yeah. What do you, what do, you do with it? I mean, I, I drink a lot of water. You drink it? You drink it? What, yeah. what kind of food is you? Do you eat it? Yeah, I drink You water. drink water? You, <laughs> no. You don't drink, drink it? You take the bottle, you roll it on the neck. You massage the muscles around the throat. What? Did, you said you went to... You are a, major, a voice major? Sorry, I'm These sorry. advanced techniques that I'm giving you now? Mm -hmm. That's that's how you get booty by the ounce, not by the minute, not by the foot, not by the pound, the ounce. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you? Jay Z has a little cousin, um, Jeremy. I don't know his name. Let's call him. He's looks like he's gonna be the next best thing. I don't know what's going on with this story. I can try it again. You can try it again. Give yeah. a shot. Yeah, try. Try it again. Try it again. I started stressing out. For the days that came after, the more work I did, the more stressed I became. I wasn't afraid that I wouldn't be successful. To the contrary, I was afraid that I would be a major success as far as fame is concerned. But to be known as the booty bounce guy, it freaked me out. To be known, to walk through a mall and have somebody say, Hey, you're the booty bounce guy. <laughs> you're the guy that sings about booty by the ounce. I didn't want that. And then the last straw came with my last meeting with Susan, where she told me, Eric, you're going to have to change the way you talk. Black males in their late teens, early 20s, they don't talk like that. You don't speak the way a young person speaks, which is funny because I'm the only young black person around, and yet I'm being told how young black people speak. She wanted me, basically, Susan asked me to dumb myself down. She wanted me to speak <laughs> purposefully in a less articulate manner. She wanted me to become a character. I listened, I nodded, and I was thinking to myself, you know, talking to God, God, is this really the way? Is this 
the price, like, I haven't even really started yet and already I'm unhappy. Do I have to contort myself and comprise myself, compromise myself this much just to live my dream? And if it's this contorted, this distorted, and this compromised, is it even my dream anymore? Do I want to be famous just for the sake of being famous? Or do I want to do what I love? The next day, I called Susan, and I told her that, you know, thank you, but no thank you. And Susan proceeded to tell me <laughs> that I was stupid, and that um, I was easily replaceable, and that there were many more guys, way more talented than me, way better looking than me. This is the same woman who just, you know, a few weeks before told me that I was exactly what she had been looking for, that I was the perfect guy, and her long search was over. Suddenly now she's telling me that I'm pretty much worthless, that I'm easily exchangeable, interchangeable with anybody else she could find. And um, <laughs> after she finished, you know, insulting me, she then told me that um, to keep her contact information, and if I ever change my mind, to give her a call. And I haven't called her since. And I don't regret my decision at all. Not at all. There's not a day goes by that I regret it. I believe I would have regretted it had I chosen to sign that contract. I really do believe that. I would have had a lot of regrets. Um, I think my quality of life is better in, in a number of ways. And that was my decision for me. What you choose to do is up to you. But um, yeah, who knows? <laughs> I feel like I, I survived. I unplugged myself from the matrix and I thrived and I'm happy. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Step in the club, walk in the club. What's that I see? Yeah, I'm looking at you, baby. Bouncing for booty, swinging left and right in front Swing of that me. Ass. How do you measure? Let me measure it. All of that pleasure. Uh huh. I got the answer. Got away it by the out. Booty by the ounce, 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 booty by the ounce,